have you logged on to any of the community message boards recently? The people are outraged that a convicted murderer might be set free, that she might be roaming the streets. And are they wrong? You may disagree with Laura's position on this, but you have to acknowledge that she is the epitome of fairness. And besides, she's just asking questions at this point. I don't think she has any specific goal or outcome in mind. Yeah, but see, that's precisely my point. Laura isn't thinking. She isn't thinking about consequences. She's not thinking about the lives that are going to be put at risk if Heather goes free. Well, we now know that Heather's judgment was impaired at the time she committed those murders. So can she be fully held responsible if she didn't know what she was doing? That's such an interesting response. That sounds like something that a politician would say. Not someone that used to be the police commissioner. What are you saying, Heather, that, that you want to stay in prison? Do I want to? Of course not. This place is like some kind of hell. I hate that I will never get to see my grandchild again. I hardly ever get to see the light of day. Mostly the inmates are people I can never talk to. I mean, they're here because they've done something horrendous. Like me. But at least I know that what goes on inside here is real. Okay, what do you mean, Heather? remember why I killed those people. I know that I did it. I remember doing it. I remember all of it. I even remember thinking that it was somehow justified. But it wasn't. Heather, you were suffering from cobalt poisoning. Right. From a bad hip replacement, which has now been removed and feeling better and theoretically I'm thinking more clearly. Yeah. I can't sit here and tell you that if I was let out tomorrow, that I know I wouldn't hurt anyone or do all those crimes again, because I don't know. And I don't want it to be put to the test. 